determine whether the following curve uses arc length as its parameter. If not, find a description that does. So here we are given the parametric description defined by the vector valued function r of t with components cosine of t, sine of t by the square root of 2, minus sine of t by the square root of 2, for t greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 10. So how are we going to determine if this curve uses the arc length as its parameter? Well, we need to check if the magnitude of the tangent vector is equal to 1. If so, then our arbitrary parameter t is going to be equal or is equal to the arc length. So let's go ahead and start by checking this. So here we go. Using that given parametric description, we start by finding the tangent vector, r prime of t. So differentiating this vector valued function, we are left with the vector minus sine of t. The second component differentiates to cosine of t by the square root of 2. And minus sine of t by the square root of 2 differentiates to minus cosine of t divided by the square root of 2. And we don't have any scalar multiples here, so we're going to go right for our magnitude. Let's find the length of our tangent vector. So using the distance formula carefully here, we have the big square root of negative sine of t squared, so that's going to leave us with sine of t squared, plus we have cosine of t divided by the square root of 2 squared, so this leaves us with cosine of t squared, and the square root of 2 squared leaves us with 2, plus, now we have minus the square root, or excuse me, minus cosine of t divided by the square root of 2, which again leaves us with cosine of t squared divided by 2. And so looking within this radicand, we realize we have two like terms that we can combine. And so this will simplify to the square root of sine of t squared plus 2 cosine of t squared divided by 2. So the 2 in the numerator will cancel with the 2 in the denominator, leaving us with the square root of sine of t squared plus cosine of t squared. And we are delighted and excited because we recognize that, hey, that's Pythagorean's identity. We know, of course, that this goes to 1. So the square root of 1 leaves us with 1. Woohoo! So therefore, we have determined, or we've shown, that the magnitude of the tangent vector is equal to 1. And therefore, our arbitrary parameter t is in fact equal to the arc length. So therefore, this curve does use arc length as a parameter. And so this is our beautiful final answer. We can say that the curve uses your arc length, uses the arc length s as the parameter. And now just for fun, because math is fun, let's take this one step further. So I want you to recall that if the arbitrary parameter is the arc length, as we have shown here, then we say that the length of the curve from A to B is simply the length of the interval. So in other words, B minus A. Now, since we know that t is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 10, and since the arbitrary parameter is in fact the arc length parameter, we can conclude without any math that the length of the curve is 10 units long, because that is the length of the interval. So a fun little shortcut when your curve uses the arc length as its parameter.